Transistors can be used to amplify a signal. And there is a variety of different circuits to choose from. But let's stick to the basic ones first. For a bipolar transistor, there are three different amplifier configurations. Common emitter, common collector, common base. Each of the circuits is named according to the pin used neither as input nor output. The very same is true for MOSFETs, by the way. Of course, the transistor has to operate in the forward active region to properly serve as an amplifier. A principal circuit to power the transistor could look like this. To get the different amplifier circuits, we simply connect DC block capacitors to the appropriate nodes. If we want to determine the properties of the amplifier, we have to do a small signal analysis. This means we calculate the small signal parameters GM, RBE and RCE. With these, we are able to draw the small signal equivalent circuit. This way, we get information like the input impedance, output impedance and voltage gain of our amplifier. The three different basic amplifiers have certain properties. The common emitter amplifier has approximately this properties. Note that the voltage gain of a common emitter amplifier is always negative. The common collector amplifier has a voltage gain of approximately 1 and transforms the input and output impedances. The common base amplifier features a positive voltage gain but has a relatively low input impedance. Depending on the application, we use one or a combination of these basic transistor amplifiers. As we will see later on, Larger amplifier circuits, like the differential and operational amplifier, are basically a couple of these basic circuits combined. 